Hello, hello. Hi. Sorry, I was trying to take care of a few things before I started talking. Hello. Hi. Oh my goodness, it's been almost a fucking week. Jesus Christ. Hi, Superior. <gasps> Guys, I've had a week. <laughs> I have I have had a week and let's go ahead and transition over so that way I can tell you what week I've had hold on just I have I don't even I don't even have my lights on this is this is how unprepared I am I I don't have my lights on hold on we gotta set the mood and the lights are gonna be red because I was shooting a video <sighs> they have to be blue and yellow not red which one's this one Oh okay, yeah, that's one. that one's the yellow one. This one. There we go. Mood is set. Hello, Uriel. How is you? Glad to see you here. Guys, I gotta tell you about this fucking week I've had. Jesus Christ. All right, so last stream was the 17th, which was right before my birthday, right? Hold on, we're turning down the music for this. So not right before my birthday, right after. So I have I had the stream on the 17th, and then I was like, hey, I'm gonna try and stream Tuesday. Cause that was that was what? Monday? Yeah, that was a Monday. So I'm like, hey, I'll try and stream Tuesday. Well, I got into like productive, like heavy productive mode, and I'm like, all right, Tuesday's not happening. Same thing happened with Thursday. I was like, hey, I'm in productive mode. I'm not gonna be able to stream today. Um, and I can't stream Saturday because I'm going to, which was this past yesterday. I'm like, I can't stream Saturday because I'm going up north to like see like the leaves change because it's like peak fall weather and da 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 da. Um, I'll try and stream Friday night to make up for Thursday and I'll stream Sunday to make up for Saturday if I can. Well, I was going to stream Friday. And as I'm driving in my little car to go to school, um, go to college on Friday morning at 7.30 in the morning, I got rear-ended. <laughs> I was the last car in a four-car chain of rear-ends. And I was just, ugh, I'm like, God damn it. So what happened was that it was a three-lane road and I was traveling in the left lane and way, way further down, a guy had hit like a deer or something and had his hazards on. So everybody was breaking for him. So I'm sitting in my little car and I see everyone breaking and I break in ample time. I have, I, I didn't, I wasn't able to leave enough room because I did, I did break hard, but I didn't slam on my brakes, but I did break hard, uh, but everybody else did too. I stopped in time. I was at a full stop. The guy behind me was in a full stop. And the guy behind him was in a full stop. But the big Jeep, and we were all in sedans, and the big Jeep behind that last person didn't stop and rammed all the cars into me. <laughs> <sighs> so... I was just... I, I knew that we were stopping, like... We were stopping hard, so I was watching my rear view mirror because I'm like, we were we're all stopping pretty hard. I need to make sure I don't get rear ended. Literally, my literally thought my thought seconds before it happened. And I'm watching the guy behind me not stop because he's getting slammed forward. And I'm like, well, I don't have room to move. <laughs> I had a little bit of room. Um, so I did pull up a little bit, but even if I had more room. I fear I I didn't one I didn't react in enough time to like pull all the way forward um but pulling forward the little bit I did actually saved me um but if even if I had more room I don't think I would have pulled forward anyway because um I fear I would have like panic accelerated and then hit the SUV in front of me because I panic accelerated so I didn't do that um but I did get hit um, but, but it was very minimal damage. <laughs> um, it was very minimal. Like you, you only see the damage on my car if you look for it. So, which is awesome. It like cracked something really small off of it. Uh, while the other two cars had their bumpers fully taken off and the third car, the one that got slammed initially, his car was totaled. 
hood crunched in, trunk crushed in. So I was very fortunate. Um, very, very fortunate about that. Uh, but that was not a fun way to start my morning. Um, because here's the thing. I have an older car. And if I sustain any damage, like even to my trunk, even if it just bends my trunk slightly, because it's such an old car, they'll total my car. And I can't afford a new car. <laughs> so I was I was sitting in my little car after getting hit, and I'm like, fuck, did I just get totaled? Because I can't do this right now. So <laughs> Can you tell I had a great Friday? <laughs> but yeah, um, but I, <laughs> as soon as I get out of my car to see what the damage was, you know, I parked, put my hazards on, and I, and I see the damage. The guy who, like, was slammed into me, he's like, I didn't hit you, older dude. He's like, I didn't hit you. And I'm like, so the first thing you don't say to me is, are you okay? It's, I didn't hit you. And I go, um, no, sir, you, you did hit me. I felt it. I felt you hit my car. I, I know what getting hit in an accident feels like. So you, you hit my, he was a total asshole. And he tried getting like information out of me and like, w like in a bad way and was like trying to like collude a, a statement f before the police got there. I'm like, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> And the guy whose car was totaled, he, the old dude started talking to him because he couldn't get anything out of me. But it was just like, I'm not going to collude with you. I'm, no. <laughs> I'm going to say what happened and you're going to like it or not. <laughs> so, but what later happened was that the lady uh, in the Jeep uh, refused the ticket from the officer and was trying to blame it on me. And saying that, I stopped too quickly, and I'm like, ma'am, <laughs> we were all stopped. We were all at a full stop, and you kept pedal to the metal, my guy. Like, that was not on me. <laughs> like, I I can maybe see you saying that if I was the car in front of you, but I was not. I was two cars. I was three cars in front of you. So... <laughs> I still got to school on time. <laughs> I still got to school on time and I went to school. Oh my goodness. The life of a STEM major gets into a car accident but still has to go to school. <laughs> so that's why I texted you guys. I added everyone into the Discord on Friday night and I'm like, hey guys. We're not streaming today. I'm kind of tired and exhausted from being kind of stressed out from being in a car accident. So no stream tonight. <laughs> uh, so that was that was my weekend. And then Saturday we went up yesterday and we saw we saw all the trees. It isn't it wasn't actually peak. We think it's next weekend, but it's going to rain where we're at. So the wind's going to blow away the leaves anyway, so it's like, eh. But, uh, got to see some leaves, got some pumpkins. Me and my roommate got some pumpkins, put it on the porch. Put them, put them on the outside of our door. Um, so we did that. What else? That's just it. I've been working on schoolwork all day today. Carved them. We're, we aren't carving pumpkins. We're not going to do that. We just got some really nice de decorative ones because there was a nice big, like, pumpkin patch near us. So we got, like, yellow ones and green ones and orange ones, like, big orange ones. And then we got some weird, funky-looking gourds. And we just put them all in front of our door. So it was more decorative. that Like, we're not carving them, but more as, like, a little fall. Fall-themed. So, uh, that's what we did, and then, um, what else, what else, what else? I've just been working all day today. I, I slept in, because I haven't been sleeping well the past few nights. I still didn't sleep well, but I slept in, at least. Um, I played, I did play a little bit of Horizon today, and then I only ran some, like, errands, uh, around, and, like, explored what I wanted to explore, but I left, like, the main mission, like, untouched. And then... Uh, what else? 
I just I've literally been working on schoolwork since like two p.m. today, and I stopped like at around like an hour ago. So I've just been working on schoolwork. I've had a bunch of like I, I just I caught up on like three weeks worth of lectures in two different classes. Um, so I mean I've been I've been grinding today. I've been doing a lot of work. So. That's what I was doing today. I was going to plan on playing Heavy Rain, but honestly, I don't want to deal with that game right now. <laughs> we'll play it. I promise I'll play it next stream. If I don't yell at me, be like, you said you were going to play Heavy Rain. And I'll be like, oh, you're right. Let me turn off Horizon Forbidden West. Um, but today, because I kind of want to keep it short because I do got to get up early tomorrow. Um, I am going to play just a little bit of Horizon Forbidden West today. And then uh, next stream, we'll do Heavy Rain, because I need to get that game over with. We, I need to finish that game. <laughs> I'm only halfway through it. I need to finish it. It just doesn't help that my schedule isn't working with my streaming schedule. And I have to do so much schoolwork. Yay! <sighs> the other reason why I've been busy is because they've royally messed up my schedule and my transcript. So I've I've been in, like so many meetings like trying to tell like talk to people and be like why haven't you done your job <laughs> because you have royally fucked me over because you haven't done your job fix it and I've had to be on like so many people's asses about fixing stuff so like I haven't even hung out with my friends I haven't hung out with Ava I haven't hung out with Raven I haven't hung out with them because I literally have been in so many meetings and running so many errands just trying to get people to fix their like the shit that they messed up on my end uh, for me, not on my end, but the, that they messed up and now is affecting me. So that's why I've been busy. It should all calm down after Tuesday, after tomorrow, actually. But uh, I've just had I've just been having to tell people how to do their job and I'm like you are adults you are in your 40s and you've been doing this job for 20 years get your job right so that has been my life um and I'm trying to figure that out <sighs> I've also been having to figure out uh, jobs because uh, what I was planning on doing is actually not very a good idea anymore. Um, so, hold on. What is it? Oh, there we go. Sorry, Ava, Ava was texting. Um, I, I'm having to figure out a new job. Like, it's kind of like in the same thing. But it's just because the job climate right now isn't really good for what I want to go into. And I need a way to sustain myself if Twitch doesn't take off. Which it will. I'm making... Making... Wait, I was texting. I was reading your, your Discord thing in your server. That's all. That's what I meant. Um, that's what I meant. But, yeah. <laughs> also, I love the use of brackets. Those brackets are great. Also, hi, Ava. Um... I don't know, dude. <laughs> but uh yeah, so I've been I've been having to try and figure out like what's going on with um with like school and everything and like just future job stuff because I'm graduating in a year or a year and a half. So if I wanna start looking at either graduate school, which I do, but I need to figure out what exactly I'm doing in graduate school. And also, like, if I need to do any internships for jobs or whatever, I got to start looking at applications, like, next semester, which sucks. So, I got to figure it out. But um, I'm talking to one of my, one of the department heads tomorrow to figure it all out because he's really helpful. Um, but it's just, it's rough because this is, like, the only, this is the first time I've never not known where my life is going and I don't like that <laughs> I've always had a plan on what I'm doing and now it's just kind of been like scrapped and I don't know what I'm doing anymore so I'm trying to I'm gonna figure out some of it tomorrow at least 
And um, I also, I really, I really want Twitch to work out. I really do. Like, regardless of what happens, like me doing this secular, like doing the secular job and figuring out what I want to do as a secular job is just to have something as a backup. I mean, I really want Twitch to work and I really want YouTube to work. So that don't, I'm not abandoning you guys. This is going to keep going no matter what. Like the, I'm still going to be working on this. Like I'll be, even if none of you guys are here, I'm still going to be streaming. Like this is, this is a thing that's going to be around for a while. I'm definitely going to run it like a business when it is a business. I mean, it is a business, but I'm not leaving. I don't know what I just did with my hands. I'm not leaving at this point. <laughs> But I've just, I've had a week. Um, I got into a car accident. <laughs> I, um, my life is falling apart. <laughs> Can you tell I'm doing okay? <laughs> oh, I also went to a concert. I forgot I went to a concert. I went to a concert. Um, I went and saw the Russian band um, in concert and... Um, it's my first time being to a concert since I was like five. <laughs> and, um, this isn't usually a, it wasn't usually a scene of people that, um, I hang with. So, um, and here's the thing. I had somebody who was going to go with me to the concert, but they had to, their, their stuff fell through at last minute. I'm not mad at them by any means, but they couldn't come with me. So I went to the concert by myself in the middle of the city to a place I'd never been before to a concert with a group of people that I, I don't usually vibe with. So I'm like, awesome. It was a really good concert. Actually. I, it was crazy to see them in person because they're, they're a lot taller than I thought. <laughs> they're a lot taller than i thought and they were uh they're really cool people and like the like everybody who was like at at the concert they were pretty cool too but i only got there about half an hour before doors were supposed to open but doors opened half an hour late so technically i was there an hour early and i was towards the front of the line not super close but i was towards the front of the line and like Line went all the way around the block. And I'm like, fun. <laughs> Glad I got here early. And the other reason why is because I was like two or three people back from the barricade. So I was like, I was up close. It was awesome. Um, but by the time everyone got in, because it was all general admission, no seats, no nothing. It was general admission in a, a club and uh, for that venue. And the issue was, was that the people in the back realized that they were in the back and didn't like that they were in the back. So then they were hardcore elbowing people to get up to the front. And none of us were having that. Like, cause initially I, I had two tall people in front of me. So it was like, like, I'm talking six foot three, like tall dudes in front of me. And I was just like, um, I was <laughs> Ava, I have to address what you just said. Homie, you realize that is a you problem, right? <laughs> that is... <laughs> that is, like, such... That is such a you problem. It's insane. <laughs> Not just me. I promise you, it's just you. <laughs> that is entirely you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um... So I was, I was behind two tall people. And if I had been like, maybe like one person over, I would have been, I would have had a clear view instead of having to be like, look, look around the person constantly. Um, but I'm glad I didn't because the ass, there were two main assholes who were coming up from the back and the girls next to me, like she had the full on, like, like elbow back, like full force elbow him back. Um, because they were jet and he was doing it right back. And I'm like, glad I'm not doing that. Um, total assholes. And then the other thing was like, it, I mean, I guess you would call it a mosh pit. And like, here's the thing. People were surging, but, it, and they were like, and it was, it wasn't to the beat of the music, but they were just surging forward and like sandwiching everybody. And it would have been cool if everybody was down with that, but everybody was so not down for that. <laughs> so everybody was just mad. 
So those were like the only like bad parts of of the concert. But other than that, it was a really good concert. Like it was it was really really good. Um and I I mean I enjoyed myself. I was proud of myself for going. I knew the guy who was I got the guy's number who was um at the front because he took like really good video and I wanted the video, but um I haven't gotten it yet, which I mean is fine. I'm not surprised, but hold on, let me send some videos to myself and you I can show you guys. The pictures. I forgot to do this before stream. It's okay. It's fine. We're okay. It's okay. Please hold. Let me send these to myself in Discord real quick and then open them all up. Also, Ava, I know there's like 8 billion people on the planet, but that is such a you problem. It's it's insane. Like that is purely a you problem because nobody nobody's fear would be that besides you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Also, my bit rate's freaking the fuck out already and we're not a, we're we're 25 minutes shut the up. No, you shut the up. Um, my bit rate's already freaking out, so, uh, apologies in advance if this fucking, uh, freaks out, and I, I don't mean it to. Um, moderator only. Hold on, please hold. And what's funny was that I told uh, cuz I'm in I'm in my second to last semester of Russian of the of taking Russian and I texted my group when I was there I'm like, "Hey guys, um I'm I'm at this Russian band's concert. I'll let you guys know how it is." And one of the guys in the in the class was like, "What what concert are you going to?" And I told him I told him I'm like, "Oh, it's I speak." And he's like, "No fucking way." He goes, "I was supposed to be at that concert." But um, I had some shit come up and I couldn't go. So what, and my class is online, so I haven't met these people in person. Um, but it was it was funny. I'm like that would have been hilarious if I had seen you. Is this is this how I do it? Okay, cool. Sorry, I had to figure it out. Okay, anyway, so here was. Here's the concert. So this was her on the stage. See, I was like, I was like three people back. So there's this row of people and then this row of people and then me. So I was like up close. And even though this is center stage right here, she always kind of stayed on the right, which kind of sucked. But still super cool. She's hella tall. Not going to lie. She's hella tall. Uh, so that was the beginning of the concert. And then they had the TVs behind them. And if you look back in this picture, there's a camera right here on the microphone stand so this camera was giving that feed because this was a this was a horror show so um it was giving this feed that they would play um to the tvs and it was like it almost it looked like an analog horror type deal where it was like delayed and grainy and like security footage it was it was actually kind of funny so um but here was a little bit close up of her eyes um i thought that was cool and then i just got a nice few close-ups of her she had really cool makeup on so um and then here was another part where she was singing screaming into the microphone and then this was a close-up that this was when she was over on our side and then this was the two of them together at the end so he had he had no hair down the middle it was like an inverted mohawk with the red hair and then this was them at the very end because we had them do an encore. So they did they did their most famous song right before the encore, and then they did their two newest famous songs after as the end to the thing. It was it was really good. So I had a lot of fun, especially you know given everything else that went bad. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot one more. Um, this one this one was a nice close up. So I mean, she had really good lighting on her. It was a small, it was small, but I mean, it was good. It was packed. 
because they moved venues um actually for this concert because the first one sold out so quickly so but yeah no it was a it was a very good concert i was very happy about it so i had a really good time so go from concert to my schedule's fucked up i need to get it fixed to car accident to being in the woods <laughs> and going pumpkin buying to today <laughs> That has been my week. It feels like a year. <laughs> um, before we start, before we start, um, guess what happened this week? What? Uh, so I'm going to put an email only, but you can talk because you're VIP. I don't know. Okay, that's fair. That's valid. I'm going to do um, Wordle and Hurdle and everything real quick before we get started. Okie dokie. Really nothing. Okay. No. Damn. You and your Wordle. You and your unwillingness to learn a new game because you're an old man. Um, only old people play Wordle. No, this is the hip. This is the the Gen Z millennial thing. Old people, old people play crossword. <laughs> bully, bully, bully. Hey, you deserve it after everything you've done to me. Okay, great. I knew there wasn't a P there, but I just wanted to try. <laughs> what did I do? My entire birthday weekend, Ava. <laughs> the entirety of it. <laughs> did Bumpy. No, it's not Bumpy. There's no B. The P. Um... Oh hey man, not my fault you didn't handle my karaoke singing. Oh, you know, your karaoke singing was fine, my dude. Humby. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Rumby. I don't know. What the fuck is this word? You see me yawning? That's how bad your joke is. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this word? What is this word? Guys, <laughs> I'm not in thinking mood. Brain no work. Why did I do this? Superior? No, don't do this to me. I don't know adjectives. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Funny story. Me and Reva have been playing a ton of Wheel of Fortune at school lately. That's just kind of like our thing when we get to school. So I've been playing Wheel of Fortune with her lately. And like we've been doing it on hard mode. And we get it on hard mode. But then we did a family mode. Which is like super simple stuff. And we didn't get any of them. We lost to the AI. Twice. <laughs> it was it was bad. <laughs> We're like, we can't do this. <laughs> oh my god. Pumpy. I don't know. No peas. I wouldn't have known that. I just wasted a turn. I don't know anymore. <gasps> um <laughs> 
Sorry. <laughs> Fucking, that's where my brain's at. I'm I'm stupid today. I'm gonna I'm warning you guys right now. If this is an indicator of it. I'm being fucking stupid today. All right. Oh my god. What I need to figure out what this letter could be. Unless it's this. Is it yummy? It's not. Mummy. Because of fucking Halloween. Alright. Well, shit. <laughs> oh, now time for Framed. I'm not going to know this movie. I'm telling you right off the bat. Don't know it. Nope. Don't know it. I'm not going to know this. I don't I don't even recognize what style this is, like who, what what director. Is this marriage Is this marriage story? Is it I spelled marriage wrong. Is it it's okay. Oh my god. I I would have known it by this. But I don't, I literally, okay, this makes, this one makes sense because this is them on the set, so they're like plays and movies and whatever, but I, I, and this is the thing that they went, okay, I got that, but I don't remember the kid. I didn't, I don't, I don't remember there being a kid in this movie. <laughs> I don't remember it at all, but I, I want to know this. Every day I wake up and I hope you're... <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that people are doing that trend where they yell that line to, to like their partners and they have to do it back at each other and whoever laughs first loses <laughs> and then this one guy okay hold on i've got on a rant now i'm gonna take off emo only for a, mo for a minute there's there's i saw this video of a couple doing that and the guy just like stopped saying words by the end of it and he was just like <laughs> hold on i gotta i gotta send this to myself it was so funny hold on hold on it is it is it is actually hilarious hold on we're pausing the movie for this the movie the music what the fuck am i saying you were dead. <laughs> oh, okay, hang on. Every day I wake up, I wish you were dead. Every day I wake up, and I wish you were dead. that video i saw that video today i absolutely lost it like what i just did oh my god it's oh uh, it's my favorite <laughs> uh what is wrong with my nose uh sounded like a fucking like snoring sound okay anyway back in emo mo only mode you guys are in jail um what's the movie trivia one Oh, yes, I did this one. So I did this one the other day, plot words. So it tells you, like, specific, like, plot words, and you have to guess the movie off of it. So I'm going to give it a shot again. Based on a novel or book. Wow, that's very helpful. The other one was dancing, and I'm like, there's only two of them, Footloose or La La Land, and then they didn't have Footloose, so it was La La Land. Based on a novel or book. Lord. Of the rings. Arranged marriage. I don't... F uh... Um... Cinderella. Um... <laughs> I'm not wrong with that one. Um... <sighs> hmm... 
You know what? Why not? Give it Cinder Cinderella. It's not on there. Well, shit. All right. What's the next one? Imprisonment. Wow. That's totally helpful. Afghanistan. Tell, I don't know this. I'm not going to know this. Right off the bat. Father. Cartoon. I didn't expect this to be a cartoon. Is that that one book that they had us read in an AP class? Ava, what's the name of that book? Persepolis. Never mind. I answered my question. Not in there. Um... What cartoon was in Afghanistan? It had an arranged marriage. What? What? Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking cry if it's Aladdin. I'm gonna cry. Please, please let it be Aladdin. It's not. <laughs> Persepolis. I'm very dumb. <laughs> it's fine. It was Persepolis. That's the only one that I can think of. Literally, all of these is describing Persepolis. I don't, but maybe not arranged marriage, but I mean, kinda. <sighs> Wait. Was Kite Runner. I was gonna say, Kite Runner wasn't. wasn't a cartoon. What is, what is this? Oh, I recognize the art style. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Hold on, I'm pulling it up for you guys. It's not a high res picture, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to deal with it. Open image, a new tab. This one. I totally, and you got the Spanish one too. <laughs> I totally, I, I recognize the art style, but I have never, I've never seen this at all. Uh, but Persepolis would actually like fully match that as well. Dang. All right. I love how I guess Lord of the Rings and Aladdin. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Let's do hurdle. <laughs> Stop in the music. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, what's this song? Oh, God. What is it? <sighs> this has been like ingrained in my. Br I know you know it. It probably played at your old work. Like, on replay. <sighs> it's 
the what's the name of it? Cause all the way that starts, I'm only I'm only thinking of of fucking timber. Like it sounds like the beginning of timber. <laughs> I I know it. I just I don't know the song, the name of it. Homeboy, I'm not going to I'm not going to get this name. I'm telling you right now. Oh, fucking cheerleader. See, I erase this from my memory like relentlessly. Also, homie, this was not 7th grade. This, that was eighth grade. <laughs> Unless it was the end of seventh grade, then that would make sense. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah, no, I completely erased that from my memory. Uh, that, that that has no place in my brain. By any means. By any means. <clears throat> Oh, wait, we forgot to do episode. Oh, I already did it. It was Atlanta. I forgot about that. Okay. Righty, we've done all the residual stuff before midnight. Um, I think it is time. I think it's time to play Horizon Forbidden West. Because, again, I was going to play... Here, let me take it. Sorry, you're in email only anymore. I was I was gonna play Heavy Rain, but I'm just I'm not in the mood. I just want to chill. I real uh, it was between this or it was Jeopardy. It really was. What version of Aladdin did you watch? Can I? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I bet <laughs> I I bet like I was also thinking like you know I wouldn't put it past that I I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past a, a thing to be racist. <laughs> a website to be racist. Also, if you if you were getting Aladdin mixed up with the John Cozart parody of Aladdin, that also could have been plausible. <laughs> I could have seen that happening too. Um but yeah, I was I just want to chill today. I know I've been playing Forbidden West like in a like like in a row. Like a lot a lot of it, but I'll do this one last one and the next stream I'll play Heavy Rain or at least something else. And if I'm not yell at me. Yell at me and be like, "You said you would do Heavy Rain or something else." And I'll be like, "You're right." I didn't read all the keywords rip. No, you're good, dude. You're totally okay. You're totally okay. All righty. Let me pause the music. Mm. Is it loud for you guys? No. It's loud for me. Okay. Jafar saying death to America was the most memorable part. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh I love that we have fucked up humor here <laughs> that is my humor alrighty you guys can hear it it'll get loud in a second I have everything updated Gage isn't here rip me um music's paused da -da -da -da. you guys are all emo okay we're good So I again I didn't do much. Um it actually looks like I didn't leave, but I just came back here at the end. So apparently remember where I got the little holographic thing last time and I was like going through that entire puzzle? Apparently that was a vista point and it's like a whole thing where it's like, oh, there's uh like there's these vista points that are left behind by a company that Elizabeth Sobek founded and it's like preservation of of like 
uh, natural park, national parks. There we go. Um, brain didn't work for a second. So I had to like line up my focus with the actual like building and it completed the image for me. So that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't do, what did I do? I didn't go back up here. I tried exploring up here, but I couldn't. Um, so I just like did a little bit of exploring. I finished up a few side quests, like nothing, nothing big, nothing monumental. Um, I went up here. There's a watchtower up here. Um, I went to that watchtower. I went through here. There's a bunch of like, uh, scroungers and whatever and like fang horns and I was fighting them. And then I did get like, I got like right here and it's like, oh, you're at Baron Light. And I'm like, uh, no, we're not. And I went the other way. But, um, <clears throat> that's, that's all I did. I, I didn't do much. Um, I'm still, oh, I didn't, I did the hunting ground. I completed the hunting ground. Um, that actually kind of pissed me off a little bit. It was harder than I thought. Um, and I'm still trying to get used to, we well, haven't been up here, I don't think. That looks like another watchtower. I'll have to make sure I hit that. Have I been here? I don't think I've been over here. Huh. I need to go up there before I go to Baron Light. All right, well. Have there been any more spider webs on your Lego tall neck? You know what? That's a good question. Let me check. Let's let's take a gander. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's two of them. Oh, there's three. Holy shit, I need to clean this. There's so many. There's like there's like one here and then two that are like going down. <laughs> <laughs> manifesting <laughs> i need to clean that <laughs> thanks man appreciate it really I'm, i appreciate it man um but anyway yeah i didn't do much i was just cleaning up some stuff leveled up a little bit did some skill skill stuff um i'm still trying to get to use the fighting because i'm the fighting is a lot in this game like just having to like you know, instead of bow and arrow and, like, spamming melee, like, you actually, like, have to put strategy into your shit. I'm still trying to learn it. It's a lot. But I played it a little bit off stream just to get more accustomed to it. Because, like I said last time, it's it's a lot and it can be overwhelming. So I just wanted to kind of take some time and get force myself to get used to it. So, but... Um, we'll go ahead and we'll fast travel over here, and then I don't think, I actually don't think I've been up here, so before I hit Baron Light, I can't believe I missed this, we'll go look at this real quick, and then we'll go into Baron Light. So, okay. I just bought a few more weapons. Oh, wait, where's my map? Oh, there it is. All right, and then let's fast travel. Wasn't that the side quest with the bristlebacks? I have no fucking clue anymore, honestly. Hello. It's just a small detour anyway, so I mean, I'm not worried. Come on, Precision, thank you. I love how the other ones didn't notice. Why is it only knocking it off? Why can't it hit? And... And... Oh, 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 oh. Ugh. 
shit. Hey, bud. extra one in there because you felt like it all right cool 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 because i definitely haven't come this way because i haven't confronted this group but it is what it is all right come here come on Vesa. machine's got uh, more armored if you kill them a lot in the first game. Maybe they do the same in this one. Mm. Mm. I mean, that would... It would make sense, honestly. I also don't have the same weapons that I did last time, so... Ooh, rock. I need one, actually. Not come this way. Yeah, cause I haven't come this way because there's new quest and whatever. Okay. Yeah, and this is a, I bet that's a Cardra Watchtower. Okay. It's a new quest. Oh, that's the fucking flag. I'm stupid. I'm dumb and ugly and stupid um anyway uh up here and boop That's pretty. What happened here? What do what do you care? Don't you? Have I'm... it happens? Huh? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these these two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this weren't so heavy. Wait. Two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard okay. another one shouting up top. I've heard you had a bad day, but you need to chill. Sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. God damn. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Dumbass. Wonderful. I bet uh, that's not what I meant to do. Go back. Sick, dude. Wonderful. Fucking mint, dude. Fucking sick, fucking righteous. Oh, hi. Do I have any fire ammo on me? What's that? Why is it in the water? I don't want it to be in the water. Are they in the water? Okay, go, go, jump. Hello? Go, go, go. Is that a- is there a Karja Watchtower? Ah, yes, that's what the mystery point is. Okay, cool. That's pretty over here. How pretty that is. So pretty. Oh, hello, mister- Oh my god, they can swim. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate everything about that. They can swim. I don't like them swimming. I don't want them to swim. That's not very cool. It's not very cash money. <laughs> She's still left. Can you imagine how ripped you have to be in order to do this on like a day to day basis? Like, that's insane. Like, part of me is like, yeah, be athletic. And then the other part of me is like, don't. 
the, like this this seems like it would suck after a while See, no, you know, you don't see anything. No, nah, you see nothing. What's this? What's up with the other? Huh? What do you mean unknown? Oh, the, oh, the wall over there. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Okay, you want you want the you want the fire ammo, right? That's what they want. They want fire ammo. They're Okay, they're weak against fire ammo. Okay. Mm. Mm, I don't know if I can hit one from this far, but let's try it. Fucking sick, dude. Well, that's really easy. <laughs> Shit. Alright, well, you died before you could do anything, so that's that's kind of cool. Oh, you're just stuck over there. Sick. And then these guys don't like acid, right? And boop. Hatch is eating at its armor. You didn't have to yell that, you know. Oh, please don't run over here and please die before I have to kill you. Sick. All right, cool. Righty. Cool. I'm looting real quick. Give me a sec. Not sure how to get rid of this stuff. I'm oh, sorry, my head my head's blocking the stuff. That's okay, I'll read it. It says invulnerable to impact special gear required to clear. Alright, cool. I don't have it yet, I don't think. Which I mean is fine. Okay. She's a lot cooler in this game, not gonna lie. Like, she's just cool. Hello, thank you. Okie dokie. Sure. Hi. Are you hurt? I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain climbing machine hunter. Yikes. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That used to be a signal tower. The She's so short. It uses a special lens, which in some very specific... W! <laughs> and since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lenses from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. I've been doing that already, so that's kind of sick. You said that was a signal tower. In its day, it was a sight to see. All six of them all lit up do I have? all around the dawns. They used to warn folks that the Tanakhs are coming, for whatever that was worth. As you can imagine, the car just spared no expense putting them together. Hence, the fancy lenses in need of a new home before the towers are torn down. 
So you're a thief. I'm more what you'd call an opportunist with a good eye for business. Mm. Look, <laughs> the Karja are gonna tear all these towers down anyway. They see no value here. They're trying to make nice with the Tanakh now. See? It's a victimless crime. Uh, opportunity. I love how I, I I love how I literally just had a unit on victimless crime <laughs> in my criminal justice class. Tell that to your friend down there. <sighs> Self-inflicted. You and the Karja guy would get along quite well. Why can't you do it? Look, even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm clearly nowhere near as capable as you. Oh, come on. <laughs> it was like, uh-huh. To That's not what my father would have wanted. Oh my gosh, she's pulled a family card. Your father, is he a thief? Sorry, opportunist too? No, he helped design the towers before he passed on. So that's how you know about the lenses. Yeah, and why they have sentimental value. Fair. I already found some, actually. <laughs> well, look at that. Looks like you're quite the opportunist too, eh? Let me take these off your hands then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant, after all. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens up this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. So I did get all five. Okay, so I did. Okay, so I already did find the other five. I just have. I just, uh. I just have this one left. Okay. Sick. I always forget I have to hold on this one. Okay. I'm in. Sick. Making sure there's yep, there's something I knew there was gonna be something in the dark. I'm like there's got they're they're hiding something in the dark. Also, all the little like starlight in here is pretty cool. It's very sparkly. What if hear me out? There it is. <laughs> oh, I don't really get good sparkle in here, though. Go through the bush. I don't get good sparkle in here. It's okay. Well, we'll let it rest for now. We'll let it be. Okay, but why did I do that? Like, what's the point if I can't get there? Go up her nose. No, I'm good, man. Do I have to go there? Point. Okay, so this is the back end of where I'm supposed to be going, right? So I'm doing this the completely wrong way. Sick, dude. Fucking sick. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. I'm 
Joe. What are you doing here? Are you gonna destroy it by the time we're done with this? <laughs> Why am I- Am I like going the complete back way that I was supposed to? Cause I mean... I think I was. Yep, I am. I totally am. <laughs> I just completely circumvented all of that! Awesome! <laughs> All right. Well, no, the pole was on this side. I don't know. Anyway, I don't care. We're here. That's all that matters. Oh, shit. Oh, hi. I didn't expect you to be there. Oh, wait, no, that's like, wait, no, there's an outside. I was in her skin I treasure Every instant Out there mm -hmm. Sorry This is my brain everyone I just This is me every day Just lyrics all the time Alright what do I do Where does one go Oh, I missed it. Oh, whoa. I miss that. Hold on. Apply cash. Oh! Could I have possibly gotten that? That would have- that would have been sick. Wait, can I- can I do that? No. Well, then what can I do? What do I do? Ah, that thing. I was like, there's signal devices. There's got to be an easier way. I can grab for Reina. I almost fall off there. Not gonna lie. Okay. Lens of the evening. Cover from Karja Signal Tower north, apparently. I think that's the last lens. Sick, I dude. With Reyna the next time I'm in Baron Light. Or just. <laughs> or just give it to her now. And pose. Right in the ass. Sick. Oh, uh, 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 oh, shit. Oh, well, fuck. All right. Well, well, I didn't mean to go that far. All right. Well, my mount's here. Oh, wait, no, that's a fucking. That's a dumbass. Oh my god, look, he's act wait, that's actually cute. Wait. Set that machine on fire. Wait, that's cute. It's it it's like an otter. It's like an otter in the thing. In the water. That's actually kind of cute. Well, too bad that I have to kill it. Hello, Mr. Shabarawa. You will not die. Will the fire work in the water? It does. That's kind of sick. Alright. And not expect that to work. Gonna be completely on. Oh, I'm falling. Well, I have an excuse to use my medical berries now. Okay. It's so funny. You want to do it again? Good. I'm good, man, you know. God, the water is so good in this game. Hello. 
could you even like build up your stamina to like hold your breath longer underneath water? Is that like something you can do in the skill tree? That would be cool. I know you get a little scuba thing later because the trailer kind of spoiled that, but. Stealth kelp? Stealth kelp? That's like the coolest name for something, I'm sorry. Stealth kelp. What does stealth kelp look like? This stuff? No. This stuff? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that's so cool. I wish you could use your bow underwater. That would be sick. I prefer creep vines. <laughs> that's... That's funny. Is there anything in this cavern? I'll ship it in as I go. Any green shine? No. If you put the word stealth in front of any object, would it be cool then? By that logic? No. Not at all. Stealth tax! That's just tax evasion. <laughs> Everything okay up there? What, so you care now? Yeah, no, not just, I'm just making small talk. <laughs> the good work. <laughs> God damn. You've not moved that body at all. Hello. That was a weird fall. Bessie, you you have you have served us well. You know what? Here, why don't we do why don't we do a little a little selfie with Bessie? A little a little Bessie selfie. A little a little Bessie selfie. How about that? Hold on, let's get a, let's get the sun behind us. We gotta do a little Bessie selfie. Bessie selfie. Bessie selfie time. Oh wait, no. I want to have her behind us. Hold on. Get in front. So that way I can do the camera close. Face. 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 And boop. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Bessie selfie. Oh my god, this is gonna- wait, this will actually be kinda cute, wait. Kinda like, over her shoulder. <laughs> I'm doing a fucking selfie with a charger, can you- <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I should do like a- I should do like a, a high angle. I wish they had a selfie pose, not gonna lie. That would be kinda cute. <laughs> Okay, toggle look at. Ah, oh, there we go. You are totally looking at the camera, Aloy. Wonderful. Okay. Um Is there any body pose that would be good for a selfie? I mean, that one's kind of cute. What about is there any of the ones with their hands out? You guys are going to have to deal with how weird this is going to be. Eh, that one's a little too high up. <gasps> I could do Oh, damn it. No. Oh, if you would only let me get a little closer. It would look like she's holding the phone. God damn it. That would have been so good. Why must I be thwarted? Oh, 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 that was good. <gasps> look, it actually looks like she's taking a selfie. <gasps> hey, oh my God. Wait, that's actually perfect. Wait, that's actually... And let's 
do. You guys, I'm mastering the art of making Aloy look like a, like like she's taking a fucking selfie. <laughs> okay, get ready for all the weird facial expressions. This part's so creepy. I hate it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm taking I'm taking a selfie. <laughs> <gasps> Give her duck face. <laughs> it's so weird. It's uncanny. It's like, the, I think it's because the game looks so realistic. Changing her face like this reminds me that it it's it's not. <laughs> I think that's cute. I think that's a cute one. How about you guys? Um, and let's do depth of field. And we'll up it a little bit. Aw, oh, sick, yeah. Hold on. Oh, we gotta get the charger in focus. Let's go down a notch. Make it more precise. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Much better. I think that's cute. Gotta try the different filters. <laughs> uh. I like it. Okay. Like that. Beautiful. We got ourselves a... No, do not close it. We got ourselves a little Bessie selfie. <laughs> Was it worth it? <laughs> it was a goodbye Bell Bessie selfie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Anyway, bye, Bessie. <laughs> All right. I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could reapply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. Where are you? Hello? Hey. Is that what I think it is? Now you've got all your lenses. My pops would be sad they're tearing down those towers. But he'd be happy these lenses... Imagine Aloy sending that to Varl. That would be oh, funny. Here. What I owe you. Now, this has truly been a profitable endeavor for the both of us. So what are you going to do next? I'm taking these back to the claim. Ankles all better, and I miss the stench of soot in the air. Let's hope you don't find any more opportunities on your way there. <laughs> <laughs> no promises. Good luck, Aloy. Thanks, man. If your inventory is full, items will gather. You gather will go to your stash. You can retrieve items from your stash at settlements or shelters around the world. Yeah, I know that. Oh, look, a strike game. I've got boards ready to go if anyone wants to play some strike. Um, maybe in a second. There is a thingy that I missed. Hello. Ah, Savior. <laughs> Tell me. Are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry <laughs> out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Barren light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy. <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. 
If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Lock. Great. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you could get those blasted gates open. <laughs> I think he wants those gates open. <laughs> Okay. I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. Um, yeah. Ooh, hello. Oh, it's just my sash. Okay. Um, it's up there. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't played a strike game since. Can I not? Okay. So can I not climb up there? We'll play. We'll play one strike game. Question, are like the food and boosts like no worth it in this game? Or or is it okay to just like not use them and you can just brute force your way through it? This ought to be fun. Yeah, I don't remember much about it, so So we got forest and grassland. They're not needed. Sick. Forest and grassland, right? Forest, grassland, and some hill terrain. So I should probably use... Oh god, I don't remember any of these. Ugh. <sighs> You don't want to vi visit MILF again? No, I'm good. A gunner type? How much? What is that? Grassland? Yeah, so I should use... Maybe he's reached food poisoning. Yeah. I think I'm going to use two grazers because there's a lot of... Well... What's that? Forest? Do I have any forest ones? No, I have mountain hill. Grassland. But this one has really good... Okay, let's do this. Wait, I can use- wait, can I use multiple pieces? <gasps> I'm stupid! I thought I could only use two. We're gonna use all the ones that I have. Or the amount that I can. <laughs> um... We'll do this. And... this. Do I have a lot of hill? There's a there's an okay amount of hill. We'll do that. Okay. Let's yeah. Right? Oh, I can see what his set is. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Yeah. Start challenge. Yeah. Let let's, us do battle. Let's Let's give it a shot. What's what's grassland? This is grassland. That's forest. So let's put you here. Um, grassland. I'm not gonna do well at this, I'm telling you guys right now. Okay. 
My turn. Okay. God damn. I forget how this works already. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh yeah, the weak spots are the are the red stuff, right? Time for me to step up. Sick. All right. <laughs> Your time to shine, friend. Awesome, dude. Fucking sick. Fucking mighty sick, dude. Can I not put it? I can't. I can't put it there. I can't put it there. So... Okay. What is this? Charger? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. So let's do this. Okay. I can do this. One down. So, when it goes from higher to lower, it does more damage, and you get to move as well. Okay, I can see... I don't think I did any of that right. Okay, well, shit. What does sprinting do again? Am I allowed to do it? Hmm. Oh, not anymore. Well, fuck. <laughs> Wonderful! I did it! Yeah, I'm not doing so well on this guy. It's not gonna keep it a buck fifty with you here. And there it goes. Can I? You could always just open the glossary if you forget something, but what's the fun in that? Let's get that piece out of there. Oh, that's my cue. I won the game. Guess I'm just that good. Yeah, I'll learn how to do that in my free time. I'll 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 do I'll do that a different Let's time. Let's play it's, from the north. I'll do it a different I'll do it a different It's okay. It's all, I'm doing it a different time. <laughs> Haven't you ever opened a fifty page manual during a game? <laughs> My wares are here for your perusal. Cool. I like, I get it, but I don't. I'll figure it out though. I'm not worried. <gasps> Oh, well, that's kind of cool. What do I need? 
A sky drifter circulator? What the fuck is a sky drifter? To protect and to flatter. What's a sky drifter? Edaman's shadow captured. When I read that Edaman's shadow has had been captured, I asked myself, where was his honor? Did he sacrifice himself in battle? He's fucking like eight. Did he give his blood in shame? No. He let himself be taken alive. On top of that, the Sun King took mercy on him, the very same traitor who kidnapped his half-brother during the liberation of Meridian from Avad's pronouncement, the rift between Rias, known as Edaman's shadow, Edaman's shadow, and his brother Urid, the arrow of the sun, is the same wound that afflicts all families cleft by the civil war, and such injuries must be healed if must be healed if the Sundom is to move forward. So Rias lives on, albeit locked in a cell in Sunstone Rock for the rest of his days. Avad is a good man, but far too kind. I cannot prove blameless Murad's part. I cannot prove blameless Murad's part in this, but he must be involved. The stay of execution reeks of politics, a bone thrown to noble families with ties to the old regime, just the kind of craven gesture the spy master would propose. Now, as shadows pass with the dawn, I can only hope that Rias is for forgotten forever. His treachery should earn him nothing. Let him rot in the dark. Sick. Don't care. Where's Erend? Looks like he's had a few. The broken ribs will do that to you. Right. Great. We're gonna save that. They locked up an eight-year-old? No, they locked up... Well, unless that was... They said that was Edaman's brother. Did Edaman have a brother? I don't fucking know anymore. They didn't lock up Edaman. I know that, because, I mean, he, we saw him earlier. He was free. Where's this? Where is this? Can I cheat my way here? Oh, yes, I can. Where is that? Oh, hello. What's this? Savior. You're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian Savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. Oh. But the Eclipse. They're here in the Daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Knows our sentenced him to death. Sick. You're so sure Larovic was working with the Eclipse. Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. Solid That's evidence. Most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. <laughs> Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakh take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop... How's the game going? Going good? Out here. We're in the thick of the story. Someone left it open on purpose. How are you Larvik, doing? Well... He's always grumbling about officers, but on this, he was too quiet. Been animating and after the incident, he started acting different. I'm excited to see jumpy. it. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger, and when Larovic mentioned the eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but of course, they heard me. The stranger took off, and Larovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. 
Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Ooh. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Lara Vic's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Lara Vic in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. I think we know where our next mission mission is. The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. <laughs> Aloy, I know what we're gonna do today. <laughs> There's 104 days of hunting the Karja. The eclipse comes along just to end it. <laughs> the annual problem of our generation is trying to get over this damn fence. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, fine, I'll just go down. <laughs> No, I don't want to do that. I want to go here. Bit busy now, but we'll talk soon. Ooh, weapons. Swift warrior bow. A fast firing to knock bow is best suited for close quarters can combat and deals extra damage when sliding and in midair. Interesting. Knockout sharp shot bow. This long range Utaru bow. Uteru? Uteru. Sound like the most southern person saying that. This long range Uteru bow <laughs> specializes in firing arrows that have high knockout power and deal low damage. Is that like a tear? Is it what? Is? Why would I want that? What's this? Slicing Shredder Gauntlet. A card weapon that uses tear ammo to slice enemies. Hold the weapon drawn before firing to tear into enemies longer. Each char each catch charges the Shredder and increases its damage. Well, that's kind of cool. Leap Lasher. What the fuck are these mo machines? I said monsters. What are these machines? All right, hey, Bessie. Uh, we're gonna pretend that you're not there, so that way our selfie actually means something. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, that's it. So pretty. I swam too I'll far. Off. Eventually. Okay, what are we doing? Am I looking for shit? What am I looking for? Oh, the clearing. What do you mean? You don't mean a hunting ground, do you? No, you don't mean a hunting ground. Okay, so then what the fuck is over here? What's that? Let's 
sick, dude. Oh, blood. This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Blood stains. It's as good a place to start as any. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. I bet we're gonna go. I bet it's gonna take us up here. Cause I, I wanted to go up here, but it, it wouldn't let me. I see plenty of tracks from the car to search party. Not helpful. In branches. Was someone up here? Scamming. Faint tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. Ooh, investigation time. Sleuth time. A bunch of burrowers. I was here before, and there were like a bunch of fang horns. Lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. I mean, I don't mind killing them. I need money. I totally need the money. I'm I'm down to kill him. Hello, Mr. Barrower. You're kinda cute though, not gonna lie. Like how you sit in the water like an otter? That's kinda cute. I know there are more. There it is. Hi. Should be easy to follow the trail up ahead now. But there's more. I thought I saw more. I thought I saw more! Alright, well. Say lobby, I guess. Money. We have money. Yeah, over here there were like a bunch of scavenger, uh, scavengers or scavenger. What the? What are scrappers? They're fucking scrappers, but they're called something else now, and it pisses me off. But there were a bunch of scrappers here, and then there were also fang horns. What? Oh, it. where? Oh, right here. Let's see. What's this? That's a burrower. Wonder the runner was. This machine must have slashed him. Fun. Love that. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Sick, dude. Fucking sick, dude. Looks like they're headed for that bridge. Oh, more, more things to kill. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, it goes down. Never mind. Oh, okay. I was like, huh? Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Where did you go off to? Check what my focus sees, maybe. It's cool that we have this, so, honestly.
See, I told you guys, more stuff to kill. Kill him though, I'm not gonna lie. What are they weak against? Ross. Um. What me money? That was a horrible impersonation. We're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, money. Money is a thing that I want. Oh, uh, the fucking blaze canisters. I forgot about that. Alright, well, time for... Explode. Oh, well. Fuck. And... Oh. Fuck, you had the move. Oh. Right in your ass. I was like, please don't let there be any scrappers nearby that come and salvage this. Ooh, something to loot. What's this? What's this? Courage water. What's that? Alright. Anyway, back to the Back to the <laughs> to the thing. The trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With hey. injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. There's a bunch of cars up there. What the fuck? I'm vibing. I'll save this for a dire. Oh, oh, there's a like bunch a of cars for someone to hide. Whoa. Whoa, what was this? that and they're just frozen that's crazy oh, I, 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 oh sorry I mean I'm looting, hold on. I have more important things to do. If we give up now, we have to fight. Ooh, purple. I say we kill the lot. Take on a whole territory. There's like cult stuff going on, but I gotta loot, man. Ooh, that does not sound good. Alright, did I miss anything? Over here, what did I miss? What's that? Ancient supply chest? What did I miss? 
that outside. No. Yes. Where is it? It's outside. What? Man. All right. Well, I'll have to go back and get that. Where is this barrel? <laughs> back to a regularly scheduled manhunt? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff to loot. Oh. No, Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra. And now he's dead, too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first, we have to get past Baron Light. Let me kill him. Next change guard, we go in fast and loud. Let me kill him. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. The shadow will rise again. A new dawn is coming. I should have called it New Dawn. What if Lorovic talked and they know we're coming? What if I stick this knife down your throat? <laughs> Save it for the heretics. What do they have? What? They have weaknesses? Like, oh, against acid and whatever. For me, you see something. Then? You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Human combat? Yeah, I'm gonna suck ass at it if you don't. Okay, not back. What are you talking about? I know. On me. You suffer for that. Am I? Oh, I told. I I almost didn't miss on that. Not gonna lie. That takes care of that. But I'm sure there's more on the outside. I better be careful. Okay. Hello. Okay, wait. What valor do I have equipped, real quick? Not to take you guys out of the moment. What valor do I have right now? Not stealth. That would have been helpful. <laughs> Bolster your resolve and deal more damage with ranged weapons for a limited time. I don't need it. The stealth one would have been helpful, though. Oh, well. Wait, why can't I... Looting time. You see nothing. Ooh, data point. That's always fun. Darkened sun. We are the Eclipse, elite of the Shadow Karja. We did as Hades, the buried, the buried Shadow, commanded. We followed the prophecy that High Priest Bahavas foretold. We wore the relics of the Old Ones, allowing us to share whispers across the Sundom. We raised an army of ancient machines to lay siege to the traitors who had stolen our holy city of Meridian. All for naught. The accursed Nora Huntress slew our leaders and brought the buried Shadow low. What are the faithful to do when pre prophecy fails them? But perhaps it has not. Bahava spoke of a cosmic cycle cut short by the murder of the true sun king, Jaron. The world cast in shadow, the wheel of time broken, an unending day under a darkened sun. Is there going to be an eclipse? I mean, I know they're called the eclipse, but is there... Is there a... 
Is there a, a like an actual eclipse that's gonna happen? Italy snaps next in this one. Oh, that's kind of sick. An unending day under a darkened sun. What if this period of prophecy is not yet complete? What if the buried shadow was not a deliverer, but only a harbinger? If this is true, our mission hasn't ended. It has barely begun. And it could very well be that the West, land of the setting sun, is where true power lies. Sick, dude. Can I hit him from here? Treasure will lead us to port. Oh no, okay. More eclipse beyond the daunt. God damn! Was their only link to them? He might have a focus. It could tell me where they are. That was, that was kind of sick. Not gonna lie. Like it was like went in his head and he went like back. That was kind of sick. All for six shards. <laughs> I'm guessing that's Rayad. Blood trail must have been his. He bled out trying to get here. Oh, damn. Hey, bud. I was right. Rayad has a focus. He's alive. She kept the mask. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit. And crush his new eclipse empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, out past Baron Light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. Oh, better take it back to Baron Light. And more people are gonna show up. Right? It can't be that easy. More people are gonna show up, without a doubt. Oh, whoa, we're all- Oh, we are up here! Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, well, so it's like a little highway thing? Well, that's kinda sick. Is there anything else I need out while I'm up here? Over here. Repel point. Beautiful. <laughs> Fucking sick, dude. So I was over here trying to get up and it wasn't gonna work because I'm like, I see the repel point. I must not be allowed to go up there yet. When we fought the eclipse back in Meridian, I thought that'd be the end of it. Nope. Guess I was wrong. Very wrong. Okay, where were... Oh, it's just a hog. Okay. Because where was that... Over here? How do I... It's over here. Go. Jump. 
Jump. Jump. There's a thing up to, to go. Hello. Aloy? Can you jump? Jump. Jump. Maybe. For me. I mean, yeah, that works too. Oh, there's more shit over here. I'm just gonna go to this one. Can you jump? I'm just gonna go. Yeah, just... Goat's better. Oh, and a data point. 30 years on. Ramos, 30 years on. New Delhi, June 28, 2055. 30 years after its commercial debut, we are so familiar with Rama 5. On oh, this game, Rama 5. Uh, not Ramos. With Rama 5, it is perhaps easy to forget the impact its revolutionary biofuel had in its early years. Even with the climate reeling, companies and individuals found it hard to surrender with the freedoms and economic advantages that fossil fuels offered. What Rama 5 presented was a chance for stability. Existing cars, machinery, and infrastructure could be retained, but now they could be run clean. Data corrupted. During the period of intense com competition in the early 2030s, it is hard to find an image of Synbio CEO Nikita Aran without Christina's son. While Nikita brought the business acumen, it was Christina's technological innovations that many say guided Synbio through its second period of growth. Whether Christina grew her, outgrew her role at the company, or as rumors suggest, her mentor resented sharing credit for the company's success, in 2036, Christina, Christina's son was pushed from Sunbio's nest. She took flight in Z... Xiaolu? Xiaolu? I guess, yeah. Of Xiaolu's Lunar Inc. And her arrival there led to a helium-3 boom that sowed the seeds for Rama 5's decline. Since Xiaolu first automate, oh, I can't read today. Since Xiaolu's first automated helium three plant was established near Tycho Tycho the Tycho Crater, I can't talk. In 2041, biofuel has lost market share in. in Biofuel has lost market share in industrial power generation with every passing year. It may sound redundant, said Sun in 2042, but the moon represents the future. Unless Synbio accepts the fact their days are numbered. It was nice hearing the eclipse theme again. Yes, agreed. This used to be a road. Interesting. How oh, cool is school bus? Kind of sad. Running as fast as I can go. is so pretty. It's like really, really pretty. Oh my god, Bessie is actually gone. <laughs> Bessie left. <laughs> Errand. 
Looks like he's had a few. We gotta fix your alcoholism, buddy. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But Nozar? He might not be convinced by your words alone. If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. <laughs> Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to Nozar. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <laughs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. We got the Eclipse Sorry, gun. Uh, you're going out there Great. to stop them, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I want to help. I can fight. Don't. I I'm you can. better on my own. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of we kind of established this. Enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, savior. Thanks, man. Can't see your face behind that bar, but really appreciate it. All right. Hey, Erend. Oh wait, does it actually like show it in the thing? Oh, whoa. Cool. Bonk. Oh, sick. All right, cool. Let's upgrade our skills real quick. What should we upgrade next? Are there any like good survivor ones? Potion shit. Bouncing bomb. I don't use this stuff. That's kind of nice. Um. Holy, what the hell is that thing? It looks fucking creepy. I hate it. What's this? Bolt blaster. Eye volley. L1. Okay. Um. Yeah, why not? What's this? Use your... Okay. I'll probably need that. And then while we're here... I'll just save it. Well, it's okay. Let me go save. And then we're good to go. You unlocked a new weapon technique. Weapon techniques are unique, powerful attacks that offer ex exceptional new strategies in combat. Unlocked techniques are available for all weapons in their class. Tap or hold R1 while aiming to hold your selected technique. To use your... Yeah, to use your selected technique. Using a weapon technique depletes your weapon stamina, which regenerates over time. Switch between available weapon techniques for your current weapon by opening the weapon wheel and or tapping and tapping left and right. Interesting. This is a lot. <laughs> but I think the combat, because of it, is like more elevated and like a lot more interesting, I guess. Like, nobody's gonna play the same way. Hello. Okay. Hey, Aaron. Gentlemen, that's our cue. Ha! Ha! It's fucked up. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. Are you okay? What happened? <laughs> 
How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Help the Vod pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. I thought we settled this. I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um... Wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seemed the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that is the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. Don't make me cry, Aaron. Don't make me cry, cause you will. And I'm, it's, it is midnight and it's not crying time. Don't make me cry. What do you know about the embassy? I know not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. You picked Hart so he won't beat himself up as much? So you're telling me that this could have been worse? Oh. <laughs> what do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the God, courage the to drag all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones came slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Osram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. <sighs> I, um, I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is if you ever do need me, I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. <laughs> Why does it hurt? <laughs> Why does it hurt? <laughs> that shouldn't hurt, but it hurts. Why does it hurt? <laughs> Ow! My heart! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Owie! Echo hurts worse than me. Lighten up, Paive. You've got a thick wall of stone between you Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here Just for the Aloy. Ears. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. <laughs> yes, the Despite the Nora. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. <laughs> but the embassy remains delayed. His Commander outfit's Nozar cool. has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Hmm. 
So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanoth return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. <laughs> it was hot that day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Solid answer, dude. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut. I like that you can just see Erend in the background. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. I'm gonna laugh if he's dead. this place during the Red Raids. Like, they've had so much build-up, and I bet he's dead. A long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping it. Yes, well, I'm sure Ulvin was thrilled. Yeah, more or less. That's pretty up here. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And oh, good so luck. he's not dead, never mind. Why the sun king believes we can have peace with these barbarians is beyond me. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? What more can you expect from racist? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Hey, Vadis. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be good. Shut up. <laughs> Why the delay? <laughs> the Tanakh are a tribe composed of three Plans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. I have anything else to do. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent <laughs> adherence to... <laughs> you shall not! Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Someone approaching! On a machine! Hey! Oh! What are you doing? She spoke to the manager. <laughs> he stole Bessie! That's where Bessie went! Varl stole her! Stole her! That is a direct order! Sorry, can't do it. That's what happened. Like the NPC just standing there. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. 
Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's up? I know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. <laughs> oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. <laughs> You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's he's, face? He's so what, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let <laughs> it through, boys. Saving the world. I love him. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Laurel. All... It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. Did we leave him? Oh, we did. I forgot about that. Let's see. So this <gasps> tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. We're in the this forbidden hasn't west started. now. We're just gonna barge in? There's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. There's gonna be a lot of politics now. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, I'm excited! New map time! I mean, this was all new map, but this still counted as like a part of this. It's what it, ah, we're not gonna talk about it. This is new. This is new map stuff. That is the line between east and west. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. Oh, great. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why oh, send a great. child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Oh, Forget great. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. <sighs> oh. She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. Oh. She's Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. Huh. Huh. Interesting. And they're barefoot. Ooh, that must hurt. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. <laughs> but such an Josh Keaton likes me. <laughs> me as you can see tensions are high this embassy is a delicate affair they're about to return me to the sundom a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances and now you arrive unheralded i'm not here to cause trouble i just need to go west so you say i might be able to help but i need to know why Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. 
Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. Hmm. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. That's cool. How did you come to be among the Tanakhs? It's I quite die. a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? All right, everybody get cozy. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. <laughs> I failed, of course. They have I had atrocities? Have I had my mouse on screen for two and a half hours? Or or has it been behind my camera and you guys haven't seen it? Have I had... Hold on. There's no way. Please tell me I haven't had my... Please... Hold on. This is gonna this is gonna bother me. Come on, load. I'm gonna cry if it's been on screen. I'm gonna absolutely I'm gonna absolutely cry. <gasps> it's been behind my camera. Oh my god. <laughs> It is it has been on screen, but it was behind my camera. Thank God. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate. I was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Akaro's feet, I demanded this right called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. His voice is cool. He allowed me to participate in the Kurut. Little did I know what I was in for. Do tell, do tell, so I know when I do it. You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hoped for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, Marshals are Hikaru's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. Fair. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in. I guess that's one way to deal with it. 
As you may have noticed, violence Yikes. is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. Yeah, agreed. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. Yeah, but you guys take it a little bit to far. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. But there is much to admire about the Tanakh. Especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. The Karo and the Marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. Fair. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The Karja need to know what I have learned. Yeah. And he dies. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakh don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. He's walking to Calling the down side. storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. No, we'll talk to him. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! There we go. Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parley with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. 
Yeah, at least follow the customs a little bit. Ha! The Karja have opened the gates. I've seen pictures of that guy. It's like he looks familiar. This is gonna go south really fast. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such. There it is. Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake a rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. What? You'll okay. need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Huh? <laughs> 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 Riding machines. Oh, he's so creepy. To do that. Silence. Oh, come so on. Come with us now. Oh, not Silence. Archer, light them up. Jesus Christ! Now I gotta fight them. Get to cover. Ah. Oh my God! Hello! Thank you so much for the raid. I'm in a. I'm in. I'm in a. Uh, I'll thank everybody when you come here. Oh, I'm in a. I'm in a very precarious situation. <laughs> Archers, keep them back. When I have a chance to pause, I will. Oh damn. That is, that is wild. Cinematics are so good. What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Why did you give away your position? Take the why did you why did you give away your position, Aloy? 
Two thousand twelve. Or thank you so much for the raid, and thank you, thank you for the for the for the how many months for the four months. I appreciate it. Ah! <laughs> oh, thanks for the fire. I really appreciate it. All right, collect everything. Hey, I got to loot first. Hold on, sorry. Okay, now we're good. Um, hello. What's this? A claw strider. <laughs> A fast and agile gun is coming very sharp blades off to okay, small packs can move very deadly melee attacks. Fucking awesome, dude. Fucking sick, dude. I must head to bed. Go get some rest. Go get some rest. Um, I hope you had a really good stream. Thank you again for the raid. You are insane. I appreciate it. Go get some sleep. Go get some sleep. You're epic? You're epic. Oh my god, these are memorable. I mean, she was writing one, so like... What's that? Did I not get that? Oh. Go, 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 up, 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 up. Oh, here's the ammo. Another one fall. Who's bad? Everyone's bad. Sick, dude. Do anything. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. No! Damn. What the fuck is that? Did you lose an arm? He totally lost an arm. They got me now. He lost a whole fucking arm? Good to know. Oh! Enough. You just killed all my people, you all my friends. Outlanders, I'll skin you both. Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. All right, Grutta. Granted. Oh fuck! This is where my shit's supposed to be coming in, right? Silence! 
Legends, what did you teach them? How do I do an aerial attack again? Isn't it R1 and hold R2? You're next, girl. I never oh, see a shield like that. Better scan it. Oh! <laughs> Get hit! 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 No! Get that shield a break if I hit one. <laughs> Go up, Aloy. Jump! Aloy! Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you, dude. How do I. How do I. Two R1s and an R2. How do I do the aerial again? R1 and then hold R2. Valor Surge? I, I mean, I could. I'll equip this one. Alright. Fuck off. Give it up! I mean, I'm pretty much... Your shield regenerated. One. 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 Two. Hell yeah. Your turn! Come down here and face me! No! <laughs> it was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades! Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war, honey Carmel. Ah! Move out! I hate those things. I hate it already. I hate what she's on. Those are fucking scary. <laughs> <laughs> Good one there, bud. All right, let me go loot. I want to go loot. That dude just lost an arm, right? Wild. Carl, you gonna make it? Carl, you're going on without me, aren't you? You know what? I'm stuck with Aaron. <laughs> now. Aaron's not that bad. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. I want to loot first. Let me loot. There's a lot of good stuff back there. Hey, Loy. Let me loot. I got gotcha. you. Oh, look, Aaron and Aloy are matching. They're matching. I wanted the loot. Oh, that's a cool time lapse. It's salvage time, boys. <laughs> that's all you can care about. No, let I want I want to let me loot. Why do they get to loot? I want to loot. That's my thing. It's not fair. Let me loot. Stop the cutscene. I want to loot. Let me loot. Oh, now I'm looting. Don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. They're taking your shit. They are. It's mine. Look at look, I want to loot it. I can't. Aloy. What? We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. 
The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation. Well, good thing we listened to his story. Those are Vwadis, Peshav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't the Tanakh's Uru. territory? <laughs> all that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. Bandit camp? The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? Rebel camps? But it's worth looking into. Bandit camps. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asaram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. So can keep an good eye to out. me. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? Yeah. There's that one over there near the Utara border. But why? It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Everything and anything. I'm, yeah, everything and anything. <laughs> There's so much. We're going to be here for a while. Uh, called that one is it covered in silk? Yeah. Someone that's knocked the chief should have killed. In, in, um, in spider yeah, webs? I yeah. Should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the West, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. It's too bad about Nazar and Vwadis. At least Nozar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, <laughs> well, no one deserves to go out that way. Yeah. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. <clears throat> it's the least I can do. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then New Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The desert clan is closest. Ooh, so vicious. So Nevada, Colorado, and California. <laughs> Plot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the Daunt. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert? 
<laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? <laughs> this area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call No Man's Land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. You mentioned the Utara tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plainsong is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh. More taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. Yeah, that is interesting. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but... Sounds like something that no. we need to fix. <laughs> they just want to be left alone. You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Also, I never said it. Hello, Raiders. I, I think well, I think uh, 2012 art for the through, raid, but I never said hello to you guys. Hello. I'm so sorry. That was like a charged movement. <laughs> Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. Oh, I shook my camera. What do I have in my foot? What happened? I'm not gonna worry about it. All right. Anyway. <gasps> Adios. I need to be on my way. Yo. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. <coughs> I appreciate it. That's nice. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Music is so good. Oh. Loot. <gasps> I can now loot. Longer tutorial than broken pieces? Yeah. Honestly. The shield wing is an energy-based glider repurposed for machine technology. Hold square while in the air to deploy and glide. Oh. Ooh, I'm excited. So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe, the backup of Gaia. I'm excited. The blight, the storms, Regala's machine layers. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. Elizabeth be wild and I, I keep forgetting her name is Elizabeth, not Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Guys, look, I'm looting. A woman who got the ambush, Regala, had a lot of machines under her command. There's only one other person who has that kind of knowledge. Silence. Don't forget about That's customization single. options and for oh, photo mode. Oh, I won't forget. I will not forget. Can I grab a shield? Dad. Okay, I know.
Oh my god, I can heal while running now? That is awesome. Alright, anything? Oh, I can loot up here. Can I see my friends? Ailey's back must hurt from see? carrying all these things. Yeah. Ooh, there's something up here. Are you talking about me? That's pretty cool. What did I miss? To the Forbidden West. Enough of Carja lands. It's just time. We have a lot of stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, what's going on? Unknown salvage contractor. What? What is this? Oh, those are the dudes. And then that's the camp. And then here's the tall neck. Wild. <clears throat> I was gonna leave it there, but at the same time, I don't. I like how it's like Karja, and then these guys, and they completely like removed, removed the 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 Karja statue. Honestly, dude, not gonna lie, thought you were already asleep. <laughs> but go get some rest. Good night, Ava. Yeah, I'm getting off soon. So, you're good. Oh, I've been drawn. Makes sense. <laughs> Alright, good night. Talk to you later. What was that? What level did it want me to be at for that? Seven? And I'm at twelve. Sick! <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, I can upgrade shit. Um... Ammo... What's this? Uh, damage for certain number of shots for bows, roadcasters, whatever. Heavy weapon plus. Triple notch. Uh, yeah. While aiming with L2, tap R1 to load another. Yeah. Please. Okie dokie. There's more blight that way too. All the blight right there. I bet it's not cool to swim in that. Mm. Okay. Wow. Like, 
like a military truck tank something with the corruptor it looks like oh hello oh it's just a fox Oh, is it already dead? Well, oh, shit. What's it look like? Mm. Not a very yummy. I always kind of check under bridges for stuff. This must be the salvagers I met in Baronlight. Looks like something's going on. We gotta read first. A hastily written report in rough glyphs. Okay, went to plain song like you asked and turned up the charm. So, here's my report on the proposed trade deal with the Uteru. I'm saying Uteru. I'm not gonna say Utaru. I'm gonna say Uteru because it's so much more fun. But the Uteru won't work. First of all, these people dislike outsiders and deeply distrust anything related with the Karja. Can't blame them there, but that means the alliance with Sun King of Vod puts us at a serious disadvantage. I thought it'd be smart to profile us Osiram as friendlier than their barbaric neighbors in the clan lands, but that didn't sit very well. I guess they have some kind of truce going on that we don't know about. Bottom line, the Uteru considered us less trustworthy than the Tanakh. Imagine that. Secondly, to put it Second, to put it bluntly, the Uteru are weird. They're- I'm gonna- I need to say Utaro. It's hurting me now. The Utaru are weird. They're extremely protective of anything that's considered alive, and that includes the local hops you want so badly. To them, it's not just a crop. It's sacred or something. The idea of putting some of- some in our grubby little hands disgusted them. Third, and most importantly, they're starving. The bite is attacking their crops, and most of them won't eat meat. So a clan of vegetarians, awesome. They wouldn't, they wouldn't hand over what little grain. Not nothing against vegetarians. I'm just making a joke. They wouldn't hand over what little grain they have for all the cogs in the claim. As you can probably tell by now, the visit didn't go very well. Haven't seen that many frowns since my cousin ran off with the Karja. I tried introducing them to Mainspring Ale to smooth over things, but they weren't interested. You know what they drink? Leaf infusions. That's just dirt water. <laughs> Tea. Are they the British? Are the Utaru British? <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> what is that noise? You know me. Have I ever given you anything less than perfection? If it isn't the savior of Meridian and of my very own operation. Laren, say hello. Hello, nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for this one, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. I love his voice. Oh, nasty business. What the Tanakh did back at the embassy. But everyone in Baron Light is thankful you drove them off. So this is your salvage operation. You won't find a better place to trade machine parts in the West. And soon we'll be trading in more than just that. For too long the West has been, well, forbidden. Dangerous. But what if I told you we could make an armor so tough, so infallible, that you'd never have to worry about survival out here again. I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> and that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. The best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Lucky me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to back in Chainscrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You Poor have guy. to help me. Yeah, I was about to say. What are you talking about? The armor. I made a dozen versions of it. But none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I 
kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts and fast. I got you. So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? What would I be looking for? Shell walker containers. Was this dude in the quarry? Wasn't this Josh? Wasn't his name Josh? Wasn't this dude in the quarry? He look looks like he was in the quarry. Their plating's made to withstand a lot of damage. It'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Ah, oh, thank the forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the containers. I'll give this a closer look later. Thanks. Counting on you, Aloy. Thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. Data point. A journal full of precise, careful glyphs. Okay, it's not long. We took payment for the haul. I got more in one sale than in the last four delves combined, and the machines are endless. For every one we turn to scrap another springs up in its place. No worries about us running short of salvage, and thank the fires of the forge for that. I was getting too stiff for delving. The climbs, the crouching, the crow bearing. Even with the knee armor I invented, it was all too much for these old bones. Not to mention the competition. Ever since those damned shadow cards have found mountain weapons in the ruins, every bandit and ruffian seems to think they'll find something that, that'll make them invincible. If a fall or a mistake with a machine doesn't kill you, those looters will. The ruins used to be quiet and empty, special places. Now people treat them like storehouses. I guess the times have just moved past me. So, I put my shards into the scrap camp. There will always be younger hunters, but the skills I got on the delve have taught me how to carve up machines in a way that will get the best price. Should keep my belly full until it's time to head back to the claim and retire. Okay. Managed to get those. I'm working on it. I should get going. Good luck. What? 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 Uh, what was the? Somewhere in Forbidden West is a legendary Tanoth master, who, known only as the Enduring. Those who prove themselves worthy to earn the privilege, of training with them. Okay. Salvage contract. A group of Osiram salvagers are competing to create the blah, 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 blah. notebooks has the contract that you can read. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, find other fulfill Lorenz contracts, convoy ambush. Ambushing a nearby convoy should provide his team with what they need. Find more details in the data point copy of their contract. Oh, it's all the way over there. What the fuck is this? Oh, God. Oh, my God. There's so much. There's so much. I think we should go for the tall neck. Thoughts? I think that's what we should do. We'll save, we'll save. I, I mean, I might even do the contract off stream. But I think, I think we should go do the tall neck and then call a day. And it's the opposite direction. All right, sick. I might want to read that contract before going on the hunt. I did, unless, I missed it. Did I miss it? No. Are you just saying that? You're just saying that. Any? I'll get. Yeah, of course. Of course. Eh, it's okay. Very well. I Bye. Have to go. Goodbye. Let's hope those shell walkers. You can read the data point. Where's? 
I know you said... Did I not read this? Ah. Ah. Okay. The following contract is bestowed by Corrupt Salvage Unlimited Salvagers, hereby engages the recipient, Hunter, to provide the following services. The Hunter will eliminate at least one Shell Walker from the designated machine convoy to provide the salvager Salvagers access to the Shell Walker crate. Any other salvage can be gathered as payment for services rendered. A campsite and traps have been provided at the marked passage, which is regularly visited by the convoy. The hunter understands that accepting this contract involves inherent risk, including physical and or psychological injury, pain, suffering, disfigurement. Hold on, I gotta read this. I gotta read this like a... <laughs> like... <laughs> have you so... Have you suffered by Shell Walker Syndrome? The hunter understands that accepting this contract involves inherent risks, including physical and or psychological injury, pain, suffering, disfigurement, temporary or permanent paralysis, and or death. Please talk to your doctor if you think the Shell Walker convoy is appropriate for you. <laughs> Please don't die. I really need those parts. Wear it. <laughs> <sighs> Beautiful. <sighs> Righty. I don't need to fight him, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, we got mad ones. Sick. Like, look at that. That is, that is insane. There's a lot of ancient wrecks out here. Must have been a huge battle. The old ones. I gave everything I had to slow down the Pharaoh's war. We currently said the Pharaoh's war is a weapon we are having our one. To knock the rebels. They're trying to corner those Osiris. Awesome. Oh, that's fucking sick. Are we good? Are we sick? You're welcome. If it isn't the hero Can of the day- Can you use the glider yet? Yeah, I just haven't done that yet. Did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working no man's land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know? After that embassy of theirs. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. You could say that. It's not like No Man's Land was safe to begin with. But oh. I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak, the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Can't get through the stuff. So we ended up making camp here. First thing tomorrow, though, we head straight to Baron Light. Other way. We'll probably it's send a message you. to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this, too. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. <laughs> and that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. Don't count on it. Well, let's hope not. Yeah. Hello? Thank you. It's just, it's weird to see, like, all the military machines and, like, 
the corruptors are just like frozen in place like in mid in mid swing like what caused them to shut down and all these big machines it's creepy EMPs yeah possibly What ruin? Oh, this one? I was gonna go here anyway. I mean, like, why would you make a machine that big? And those are only the arms. Like, why would you... Why would you ever manufacture something like that? I, I don't... I don't get it. Okay. Let's see what we can find around here. Money. Yeah, I know, but, like... How did that go through so many people? To be like, yeah, that seems like a good idea to make something that's like as large as a skyscraper, as a military machine. Yeah, let's do that. This crate might be useful. Yeah, we'll that it makes. That's where I just came from. Hello. Red crystals growing on the wall. I don't think there's anything I can do about them. Insane. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Well, without a way to get through those red crystals, there's not much I can do. Well, let's see. Move on for now. But there's door. Door locked. Looks like this door is locked. Maybe there's another way in. I can't do it right now, right? I can't do this right now. Because she said I couldn't. Sick. All right, cool. We'll come back. All right, here. Let's go to Tall Neck. What's this? Little bird sounds are cute. That's just the entrance, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Don't worry about that then. Come on. Deactivate. There we go. We'll do that another time. Hey, that's just... Where? Frost will make it brittle. Nah, fam. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm so good. I'm told. I'm good. I'm. I'm good. Um. What is it weak against? Tracking container. Weak against frost. Shock in the back. Melee tail. Well. Do I do this right now? 
I don't think I do that right now. You guys think I, I don't think I should do that right now. I gotta go past it though. Can I hide in these? No. Oh, it's gross. It's gross and yucky and dumb and I hate it and I hate all of it. Ooh, what's that? God, all these corruptors, dude. See, there's a thing over here. Am I going towards the things? I am. I'm gonna... No, we're not doing that. Nope, nope. We're going the other way. We're going the other way. I'm good. We're, we're not doing that. We're, we're not fighting those. Those are... Those... Those are scary. Wow, oh, look at that. And it's all from right here and it just... <sighs> that's so crazy. It's like, in that's insane that that exists. Oh look, more things for me to die from. Fucking sick. Look at that! Look at it! That should not exist! That should not be a thing that should have been made! Ooh, look! A fucking goat! Being sneaky. I'm still getting a signal from my focus. That's a wild bridge right there. Look at that. That's definitely new. It's a little goat, right? Yeah. There's so Tom, many. If I override it, I can get data on the surrounding area. So many goats. It's funny to see chargers next to goats. There's four more. That's a lot. I don't want to fall. I say as that one notices that I'm here. That's an Uteru bridge? Wild, dude. Die. Okay, I need to see. I 
like the noises that I'm hearing. Oh look, the birds. Great, dude. Fucking great. Living life. Yes, I know. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. I'm not a. I'm not a. I can't do it anyway. I'm not a. I'm not at a workbench. Or do I not have to be at a workbench? No, I don't. Uh, that's just upgrade. I'm fucking okay. Whatever. It's wh whatever. 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 Where's my fucking bow? Where's my bow? This one. I have increased acid. Do I have anything else? When using overdraw with weapon, what's the overdraw thing? Oh, shit. Well, there we go. And then, nope. And then, and, and, yep, there we go. Not gonna really do anything. Okay. Um. Shock? Sure. Projectile. Don't even, don't even quit. All right, sick, dude. Um, let's equip this in place of the warrior bow. And let's, no, cool. And then outfits and the one I'm wearing. Maybe not. I like the one I'm wearing. All right. Let's give this a shot. Oh, wait, no, I don't have to go over there. I'm stupid and dumb. Let's go over here. That's so cool. Oh wait, no, I do have to kill the birds. Fuck. All right, well, look at that. I mean, look at that. Why would you make a machine that big? There's no reason. Tomek, if I override it, I can get data on the surrounding area. Sick. Who else but Pharaoh? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a satellite dish. If I can climb it, I should be able to reach that tall neck easily enough. Oh, birds. You gotta kill the birds. I'm not gonna be bothered. Machine resistant to plasma. Scrapper. So there's scrap. There's. Scroungers and scrappers, and they're not the same thing? God damn it. What do you mean they're not the same thing? They literally look the same. All right. There has to be a way up this thing. Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure out where all the fucking monsters are real quick, so, like, don't complain, please. Does that put me directly in line of sight of the bird? Because I don't want that. I'm on, like, I'm on the wrong side of this thing. Okay, so there's one bird, right? With two scrappers. Oh, look, there's fireflies. Ten million fireflies. 
Oh, I can use a rope caster. <gasps> I have a rope caster. Oh, if he lands right there all the time. My machine could swoop down on me if I'm not And... though, not gonna lie. That was kind of genius. <laughs> that was not very genius. Nope, nope, nope. Thank you, everyone. Fuck yeah. And now we have a day-night cycle. So we did the embassy thing. I just like the barrels. Ooh, what's over there? I don't want to know. We're not going to worry about that right now. Looks dead. New data point. Exhibits, the Western Grand Array proudly presents the Eyes to the Heavens exhibit, where visitors are invited to explore the history of radio astronomy and learn what it's like to see through the eyes of our state-of-the-art telescopes in this all-new panoramic hollow experience. Special viewing. Want to see our antennas moving down the tracks? Ping our visitors' information center to get uh, dates and viewing times. November special. We're getting ready for a 2059 annual viewing of the abandoned Odyssey spacecraft as it follows its orbital path around the Western Grand Array. Book early bird tickets. Uh, haha, -ha, very funny. Book early bird tickets and receive a complimentary hollow sculpture based on the original Odyssey blueprints. Always remember to turn off all Im implants <laughs> and digital devices while visiting the premises. <laughs> Otherwise, it can fuck you up. All right. Can I not? Can I not? I got it. Okay. I have to shoot that. No, there's nothing for me to shoot. Spot it. Gotta move. Where? Oh fuck. Oh, but it's it's worried with something else. Oh, I got it. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, wrong thing. I was like, I, I didn't see that before because it's night and it's the same color. <laughs> Damn, the music's good in this, not gonna lie. It's a I'm gonna have to ask you to move, please, hon. Thank you. Just go right through the ladder. Yeah, do that. Very girl boss of you, you know? Can't climb any higher, but looks like this thing can rotate. Oh, sick. All right. 
Well, that was crap. Roger just bit my head off because he found my little addition to the dishes protocol. Who cares what he thinks? The tourists loved it. Every dish aligning one after the other, playing their assigned note over the alarm speakers, all perfectly paced. Music is math, after all. Scientists who don't appreciate the transcendence of their musical scale should have their PhDs revoked, if you ask me. Whatever. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. I'll go check Doe and Ray. They've been sluggish lately. Might have to check, clean their alignment rudders again. I can figure out a way to turn the power back on. I might be able to move things around and find a way up. I just came. Aloy, where are you going? Where was the power generator? I know I saw it. Okay, over here. So what do I... Ah. The power cell. Disconnected from the main power line. This should get that generator below the dish going. What do I do? Whoa, why did I do that? What am I doing? What am I- am I going back down? There's the generator. I bet this power cell can get it running. Power's back. I should check that console I found. Hey, let's see what this thing does. Oh. The fact that it still works after all this time. the coolest tall neck thing to do. Like, this is really cool. I will say, I like that this game has combat for the people who like combat and has puzzles for the people who like puzzles. I should be able to get to that tall neck now. Just find the right spot. Looks like I might be able to glide onto the tall neck. Up! <laughs> I was I hit the wrong button. You guys didn't see that, right? You you didn't see that. No, you guys didn't see that. No. No, not at all. No. How am I not dead? Bro. I have no clue. I kinda just hope for the best there, not gonna lie. These knees are completely broken. Yeah. Yeah. 
Whoopsie. So I hold square. soundtrack's really good. <laughs> Please don't tell me that the machines respawn now, like they did in the last game, because that was a stupid mechanic. And they got the same animation! Cool! Sick. <gasps> they didn't respawn! Oh, awesome. It's cooler to glide off it, in my opinion. Oh, I didn't even think to do that, not gonna lie. Oh, those are the rails that move the thing. Wild. Okay. There's so much. And we aren't, we aren't even like a fourth of the way done with the map. There's so much. Holy sh- There's so much. How, how did they put so much in the game? There's so much. Huh? That's a lot. What's all this? With the roads. What it- Huh? Okay, that's for another time. We're gonna go save. That's insane. That's a lot. That's a lot. Crazy. Okay. We're gonna be doing a lot of playthroughs of this, I feel. <laughs> <sighs> Alrighty. Save. And then we'll do one more time for good measure. When were you <laughs> fist everyone? Yeah, honestly. Oh boy. Crazy. That is a huge map. Oh, also, um, on this opening screen, I never noticed the boat in the background. There's a whole ass boat in the background, and I am not excited for that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Crazy. Insane. Oh, look at this. Look at the intro, though, now. Uh, look how pretty that is. At the ruins. That's really cool. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this off. Let me actually turn my PS5 off real quick. One second. There we go. <sighs> well, that was interesting. I enjoyed that. There's a lot that happened. And there's still so much more. I feel like I've barely scratched the surface. Barely scratched the surface. 
Um, before we head out, I will, if OBS does not crash on me. <laughs> um, oh no, did OBS crash? No, OBS, did my internet crash? Is everything okay? Can you guys hear me? I want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Am I still alive? Are we still good? No. Is my internet fucking out? At least it waited till the end of the game. No, I think my internet went out. God damn it. <sighs> I gotta love. I gotta love it. I absolutely gotta love it. I love how it does this every stream. Like, it's just a rite of passage at this point for for it to just fucking, fucking die. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, man. This fucking sucks. I'm sorry. Ugh. I don't even know if this is going to translate into the VOD, but I'm sorry that this happened. I don't know. I, I really need to get this fixed because it's a fucking annoyance and a thorn in my side. But, um... And I wish... I wish my internet was better. Um... Blame it on where I live. But I'm going to go ahead and end it. I'm sorry that it went fucky. Um, it says I'm still live, so uh, if I probably can't see it and I can't see y'all typing or whatever and it's still live on OBS or I don't know. <laughs> but I had fun today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you can even still hear this, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it for the raid earlier. Um, I had a, a fantastic time. Hopefully I'll be back Tuesday, but I can't guarantee anything. If not, um, I will do my damnedest to be back Thursday. So, um, but you guys are awesome. I can't play my outro song, so I'm just going to end stream. But uh, thank you for the vibes. I super appreciate it. Oh, my God. Superior, it's, it's, your thing came through. My computer's tweaking. I, fe I feel like it's going to shut down. So, but anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. Again, I'm sorry that this happens. It's literally a rite of passage at this point for my computer to just shit the bed by the time. Like, my computer's fine. It's my internet. It's 100% my internet, and I gotta figure out how to get it fixed, so. All righty. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, again, I'll see you hopefully Tuesday, but if not, let's, let's try and plan on Thursday, and I will do heavy rain. If not, yell at me. Um, but thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see.